Grace of wisdom. Amen. Amen. Papa, be your friend, you can answer. The Baba couldn't take Kuma. And the Baba could do it. And now you are here. And the Baba could do it. And it is also the only day, one day, one day, dinner, we do a much. And now, Yamia da Roma, Papa, I think I can't come on any money in a year or more for a year. I say, baby, I will not have food snacks as near as Papa. Tetiana Naba, Vizre, Minke, or dear Panche, and Moko, Nadu Bia. Tetiana Nebayano, Naka Kwana, the status as a or Yale and the home funnel. And why that will call hospital by no say doctor said the area no and your doctor are in to open the food be won't go and opportunity no shed and also no go by or by no say or deep one and say say we were young forward drew the devil for food on for one ma jane in your my idea on crying to almost starting to toss the war for free you could see a four you program in account. You light and call. And I was a baby, was saying, I was in me once. I remember my heaven. This I mean, call heaven. And I was so okay, heavy, they win here. And I could go on and see who said, What come and I trust us as soon. And then I said, Tim, go a Christian, but we are said that. A BM so different, so what that can on Bacosian. Mom, father, do I'm a boom. I'm an unsummum to the ten 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 ten. And what's your baby? Oh, dear, Diana, no name on your man in Abigo. Ain't he? Oh, we are no more terminal, did you go see him anymore? Was he am running so different? Some woman found a tea and catasso. Aye, to one name was ah, and now, um, could see you and a may um, so 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 so. I feel so different, they say, a former one woman see you. Aye, ain't he? Almost soon, no more baby. As a Ukunua, a chapas and a mock of whom. Well, quite not so sorry. What two men came, what two wait for four and one no one already. And more and one no one already. Men came and one no one. Eh, it was also an old two and no crop for so cotton wool. It is a lesser or two cotton when you're sicker. Ain't you what catch up so deep for the summer bear for more so? Among us, a who could queer bow or some man that he I feel so. But deep for the said, Die you, Quadabian, or when you die, or moment of four more. I just almost soon be charged here because when you say be a double from the banner or two bunches, cotton. No, you are. It's a mobile service who could queer bow. It's a fair ass of a banner. Near two adrenaline. Hey. Si aso duro anu aso sum. Kwe kwa na si, kwe kwa na si. Ose hmm. Na ne mara jeso. Kwe kwa na si, kwe kwa na si. Meka amose hmm. Wira sonio. Efu na udi jaye no. Obi a starti didi na o hmm. Eti kwe kwa te hosa wasi. Jayo, my demato, Jayo, I saw Quadro for a so tira door, Jayo, my demato, Jayo, I saw tira pum, Jayo, my demato, Jayo, to go a good set down to Medima, the Aso Quadro was set down to Medim Pio. It is also soon himself, some might not any mass, so I became. Oh, well, Janet. Where was the Debbie? Where did you come with you for me now? I could break you up and be on my head. It's all going with you for you. And what do you for the deal? And what do you want to do for you? Don't you do it for me now? What's the mama told you? I'm going to see you now. 
Some are just on my way. Enna, Mammy, too, you miss an amateur yina. Enna, quite good, so send me a major so quite your phone and one way yina. And no deep phone, General San, or some mammy. Who can walk out at it? Oh, we was it. We are mammy, quite your four papa. The entire bed cow bet yes, yet. Now bet you and some of me can yet say, me would deep one and say, Satamana Ukuno. Order if we, because the young was with you. We say, We hear it was no crest of who you would eat. We would eat. Auntie, who could look at one and say, Tell me our two bunch of cotton corona, a bear ham, or wolf of forty, or what you need to a former, or pursue a tidy in every uncle or beefy. Now, what children will answer the same way? It is also a boy uncle, or quite a square cushion in a wooey. And I could sorry. And was ah, prophetess Lady Mercy. Adela we yes, sir. Say Kenya Opana. Who best have you in Komwa? Kabe dear form where you are in. Never yes was the canna. Matto for Edrianinian. But the Akope Krubi swat in a chimpna. Sikana Sada come up biffy. It is a wakandia. Me kofi. If you never catch it, a man in our say. Omunya kwa jiro. Sa wuni ukruti nwa ya kwa jofua. Obedi nturaba wuni nukure mao da. A kwa jiro. Dye di bre meema nese. Ema be eme chao nturo. Wunda fa akuti mu. Indi. O kwa akura. O kwa bebi pone kure wuni masenda. O me kwa haba. Wabuwa. O nisa wudi ya kwa jofu. Nya di ya wuti miko bebi ya woso. Wa hankwa hama wuni. Inti do I you be our nini ho? Amen. Amen. Now that's the same one between ye. Say do, say a true, say a dear you, and for me ho, may the swell. Amen. Words of wisdom. Rabbitian yansa sam. Fawo who shall we hear what it? Never boil, they be up where boy and pa. Yes, sir, I fear see. Marchimu Edna Menemo Astate Asia Equina Yafasu a bought a for ye. When we started this words of wisdom in this month, March, that I have started teaching you about offering. Amen. Amen. Because Trocon cran some na ye kaino. E fa wari fo. E fe ni pe pi o wi ase ho. E nun ti na awari se ma ye ye no. Me di ya bra bo. E toto o nyankopon ase mo ho. Na won so o di abo e wa wa wi mu na wetu mi ye di. Knowing that the word of God concerns also married couples and everybody. That is why we teach you with the word of God so that you'll be able to walk well with the word. Our if we been put him say ye di nyankopon sam so e na ye di ware. Some married couples doesn't know that we have to obey the word of God to marry. Our if we been put in him say aforebo e kan ni pa shebere ho na no mpo e ne betumi ama wadi ye. Some married couples doesn't know that giving offering is Part of their destiny. Ye ni mse afore bumpo e jina wama group fufuro bi. They only know that giving offering concerns only a group of people. E bi numpo ni mse afore bo wama e kristo fwa fufuro bi na wari fwa diye yen kaun. There are some people who only believe that giving offering concerns only some group of people not concerning certain or all Christians. The word of God is not there for only a group of people. It's there for all people. Who believe in God. Who love God. So be That they will obey the word of God. And the word of God says. They who love the Lord. That group. That group. 
we know all things work together for their good and it's always good for them today as we are gathered as brethren who are couples or married couples and then we know Today we're going to learn the way by which we can give good offerings to God. We're coming to teach you two or three things. We want to teach you very well these things. So that you can understand very well. So that from today onwards, you'll be able to work well with that. Amen. Amen. Enti ene ye jume di eno botaya e dasuo enye bose ne aseda afore bo. Therefore, today our topic for the program is Thanksgiving offering and promise offering. Number one, ye beshe e kwanya ye fosu bo aseda afore. Number one, we are coming to have a look about how we are able to give thanksgiving offering. Number two, ye beshe ekwanya ye fosu esebo. Secondly, we will also have a look about how we are able to give our vows. Ye beshe ekwanya ye fosu etia erade bose aforienso. We will also look at the way by which we will be able to pay our vows to God. Diye tosu miyensa. On the third one is ye beshe ekwanya ye fosu etia erade bose aforie. We also coming to have a look about how we be able to pay our vows to God. Amen. Amen. Ye mbie bie ya no. We just say 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 bo bahat bahat kwa. Asem wo ho ene mi be kire wo mu ama wate ase ye pa. We just don't have to open our mouths anyhow and give vows to God. There is always a a clue to that. We're going to have a look at this very well. Na mi bi saw se e kwan be so e na ye fo so e bo aseda aforie. By which way can you offer your thanksgiving offering to God? E kwan be in ye fo so e se wo nyankopon bo. By which way do we have to give our vows to God? E kwan be so e na ye fo so e tu ye bo se no. By which way also do we have to pass so that we'll be able to pay our vows? To God. Amen. Amen. Listen very carefully. These are the explanations. Apart from a foribona ubonuo a sorry demoa or sofu and now spiritual father and now sofu air from say Brabeba for the same me and from one year me jumano. One kasawa for a bar who be free wa come ma bo ama apart from the offerings that you give in the house of God which your spiritual father encourages you to come and give as an offering unto God mm -hmm. I am coming to teach you something concerning the way by which you yourself yes. will be able come, to come out and give a good offering to God yes yes <laughs> The way by which you yourself will have a lot of wisdom to give good offerings to God and be successful in life. This is what I today am coming to teach you. If God promises you that he will give you something, what do you usually do about that? What promise am I talking about? Maybe through a man of God, God gave you a promise that he will give you something. And secondly, you had a dream, a very good dream. And you were 
And you found out that God is coming to give you something very good. A good blessing that is ahead of you that God is coming to give to you. In another way, maybe God, through a great person, gave you the message that he will give you something good. What have you also done concerning this very thing? God introduced to you a helper. That through that person, you will be a great person. What did you do concerning this that the Lord did for you? You took it just like that. Today, I want to tell you that you don't have to walk with God just like that. You don't walk with God just like that. If God gives you any promise, you have to give a good offering of thanksgiving on that promise. And it's it. It's like this. And it's it. It's like this. You have to take out something good. Keep it in a good envelope. spiritual father. Take it to your spiritual father. And our spiritual mother. Or your spiritual mother. And our baby our for you. Or where you normally give good offerings there. For God. Now what do you call? So you will take this offering. Before you take the offering, you need to pray over the offering. Kneel before God. And give thanks to God. That God, you have, I thank you that you have given me this promise. You revealed this to me in my dream. You through a man of God, you spoke to me. You have also passed through a certain person Why to give me this promise. You have given me this person as a helper. Therefore, this is what I am also taking as a good offering to you, O God. When you finish with this prayer, heaven will hold it up. The earth will hold it up. All animals on earth are testimony. They are testimonies. Heaven has also hold it up. It has become a great testimony in heaven. And this is how promises are. If you are able to thank God on this way, before you can also open your mouth and tell God, Lord, this is my thanksgiving offering that I'm sending to you. Lord, if you are able to help me, that this promise come to pass in my life. I will also give a good offering better than this unto you, O oh God. Wait, your friend Bosse. This is what we call the promise. Wait, now your friend Bosse. This is what we call the promise. And yes, it's, it's not like it's not that when God gave you a promise, when, after having your dream, after having your prophecy, after God has given you a helper, after some people gave you promises, oh, you just start praying. Oh, as for you, you are a laughing stock. You have taken God very cheap. So God will also use your prayer very cheap. Say yeah, Oh, many years it will never come to pass. Then you will come out and say that it's a false prophecy. The, the, the one that you also dreamt and had, you will say that it is witches who came into your dream to give you that. Let me tell you that witches don't hold things in vain. The, the witches, they are afraid of the word of God. 
The witches are afraid when you stand on the word of God to do your promises. They can't come near it and destroy it. What did the word of God say? What's it? He says, So when to me a master that for the entry, I will push out for the I'm master that for the anomasia. Remember, or did you walk on some number say what here? He says that if you are not able to give out your good thanksgiving offering and your vows and pay all your tithes, I will allow the, the devourer to come and destroy your things. If God gives you any promise now, and, and you give a good offering on it and give thanksgiving on it, God is the one who owes you. What they will cut, he owes you. Obekai. He will remember. No, be yama ten, and he ten, will ten, come ten, and ten, do ten. it for you very quickly. So, so we, what you So we give thanksgiving offering unto God before we pray over the offering. So that during that time. God will be able to come in and help you. So there is a way you go about it like this that God if you are able to help me in the, in the promises that you have given to me if you are able to do for me the things that you have promised me I will give you this and I will give you that let me ask you this question you and God who is worthy or who is rich I'm asking you this question also why is it that the word of God said that Ma, give na mama and I will give you. Why you know someone? What whose word is this? What's it ma na my day? He says, give and I will give you. Is it I, Mama Florence Obini, asking you this question? No, it's God. Last me catch them say. The other time I told you this. God gave Israel a promise. A promise Abraham. He promised Abraham. And all his descendants. That I will give this land to your descendants. The Lord said, I've done every good thing on this land. When you go to that land, you will never suffer. But I'm telling you this. If you can stay on that land, eat and be so happy. I, the Lord, we don't take me just like that. I've given you a promise and given you that land. Unless you give all the offerings that is concerning this gift of land. Let's go to the word of God and look at what a the word says. Deuteronomy chapter 12, verse 4 to 7. Deuteronomy chapter 12, verse 4 to 7. Mose Muma etosunu. Etre do me no ye mu and nine cosi and song. Monye a radimunyan coponsa na na mum fa kwa obey ye mum musu ya kun y ne muse or dini din betro. Na watana no na monche na e hona mon cro. Na e hona mon patu edi can si en ye day shan see a popro. Monye a radimunyan coponsa was si a bossa na masemono. Some of the more quas as papa so I'm a mock with this one when you're general. Moon say ye, the man fair rather than when you're on the sa. He says that the promise that I have given to you that I'm sending you to a very good land which you can go and enjoy. Let me tell you this be very careful that you will not take I, the Lord your God, just like that. Namum, Pacuan, obey you, Mumusu, and Kuan, you never say. Or didn't he deem better? Now, what's an anon a monche? Na a hona mon crow. A hona mon she ye, na mon co, aha, na hona mon fa or she are for de. Was it a hona mon she ye, na mon co, na mon fa mo de, mo she a for de. He's saying that that's the place where you have to be very careful to go well and then also take all your bent offerings. And a dear people, you will come a for de, aha. And the moon to swore do do three, uh huh. Nemon Samma saw a four deer four, and Nemo Boshe a deer five, and Nemo Yemu ye a four deer six, and Nemo Nem Chia Nemo Yam Makai and Crow. Amen. A for Yamakumakumakumakum, 
Seven. And I'm often moon up There are seven offerings that God is talking about that you have to put all these offerings in place. After doing this, what will happen? Uh-huh. Amen. Amen. If you do all these things, then you and your family enjoy your meals and through that everything that you lay your hands to do it will prosper for you amen amen se nyankopon e be ma ne bo se a wa se o abem ama wani agi ama wadidi amen atena sa se isu a agi se bo se no a wo se wo no o bo so aforie da so ase o to to ntutu ye ye ansa ansa na nyankopon bo se no so tue ama if, if God will let you enjoy all the blessings that he has spoken of concerning the promises that he has given to you, first of all, you need to give your offerings unto God. And through that, he will let you enjoy a better life. Amen. 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 Let's look at what King Solomon did. A prophecy David is there on fat neighbor Solomon in a in sin a name man in the The Lord God promised King David that he should put in place his son Solomon to be a king instead of him. Now Solomon, ye nyan sa for King Solomon was a very wise person. Tino nyanko ponsa di nyan sa bebe sa kana hono. And God also added more wisdom to his. Na ne papa David di up. His father David was a man who loved giving good offering. He had given a good offering for a long time, so it was inside him. He gave part of the offering for his son Solomon. Now before say, ye di Solomon su ebesi ya konya so. Ama wabaye ne juma. Wabemu Israel for ma ten. Atuaso ye ne juma ma ne juma. Before King Solomon was even installed as a king, we will look at what he did that made his throne to be well established. Solomon just said, Papa, but for real man, inti. Solomon didn't say that his father has already given good offerings for him, so he will just take his throne and then live just like that. If God gives you your marriage, please try to give offering on the marriage is given to you. Let's go and have a look at what King Solomon did that made his kingdom to establish. Second Chronicles chapter 1, verse 5 to 13. Brasu Sam Mumma Tosu Mienu. E tire bako nye munum kosi e du mien san. Aha. Na kobre fra fra ya for buchi ya a ho ba yuri aba ba so ye no si ewrade tena bia no enim ho aha na ye den na solomon de bedwa no kwohwehwe ewrade echiri kwan solomon obetena konwa no so no okohwehwe ho echiri kwan wo ba bia ye si afori buchi ya no when solomon was enthroned he went out to seek for the throne the place where the burnt offerings of the Lord can be offered. He went, to, he went to seek the face of God to become the leader of his, of his kingdom. He didn't take God just like that. He went to do something. He went to seek the face of God. So that the Lord will be the king of his kingdom. So that his kingdom will be well established. Let's go and have a look whether he went empty handed. Solomon 
na obo so o hye afode apem say apem thousand how many thousand aha ni yimon so and I don't know how to run out of my own way to the Solomon. Solomon bought for you know what sort of your day is home. When Solomon gave the offering, the heavens also accepted it. As I see home, the earth also accepted it. A real moon, what do many now home? All the animals also accepted it. And the yard dance did it cast it, and it became a great testimony. And I don't need to see it. In the night, what happened? And I don't know how. Na onyankopo yi ne ho edi kire sorom. Aha. Na o ka kire no se sre de mema wo. E na sorom o ka kire no se wo na waye major David do ye kese ye. Sorom o wo se ni papa hen ni e peja ya na David onyankopo hira no ma di yi nyina. Enye ni papa ho oden na ye hwan ya. Tu hu no bia waye sa a peja na edi mu a e ye onyankopo na ye dai. A peja wa wiene jina wasa. Ese usu kwa wiene jina wakupo. E kwa ya. Ube fasu wa nyame sube peja wa wawi ye jina ho. Ama wa wawi ene dimu ne tim. Solomon found out that his father's kingdom which was well established is as a result of God. And so he also went to seek the face of God so that his will also be well established. If you see somebody's marriage which is well established and there is much peace and joy in it. You also have to go and seek the face of God so that yours can become seen. Uh huh. And you mong kron afe erade nyankopon ma wa samuntim ma major David na wona wasi me hene o mana o do so se asasi so futuro so ma me nya sane nim de na me mfri edi o man yi anim na me mrem na hwan na obebu Woman kesi e yi aten. Jesus. Na o nyanku po kache soro mo se. Aha. E san se ye yi wo wakume mu. Na wo e misa ahunya. Aha. Akura diye ni en mo nyam ni watanfo kra. Hmm. Na na dudua nso. Wasi wa anya dey. Wo e misa watanfo kra. Wo an kwa anko bom paye mwa beifu. Wasi wa anbi kuma beifu. Di wo bini mwa na wali e mu nye ne ni. Di e hiyan di e wo nye da. Everybody, you are going to say Solomon. So what time for air pew? A good one, you must see. Why maybe some more crass? I'm ready. I'm cool. I'm on time. Now we have a boy for real. Can see it say. Now we catch them. We say, "Minsa, man, we nyansa." Ne fati na hini emu. Eni adi ena me yewu. God said, Solomon, because you didn't come to ask me to kill your enemies or to give you money or to do all things that are unnecessary. I am telling you that I'm going to give you a lot of wisdom. Then you will see what I will give to you. A dear no ye. Uh-huh. Na na do do on so we misa. Uh-huh. Na mum wabi say nyan sani nim dear. Uh-huh. Sa wudi bebu me mana ma ya wu won so hine no ate ye. Mm. Ni yimu do me no. Nyan sani nim dear no. Wade amao. Na ahunya ni akuradi ni enmonya mso mema wu. Ah ahimfu a wodi wa nimnu ni na wodi wa nimnu nyasa da. Na wachiri nso ori nyasa. Onye bida. Etu wahini pia no beba sa si suwa. Obetu solo mahini eda. So there is no king who will come on this earth who will be like King Solomon. Aha tuaso. Ena Solomon free so so be a ho a e wo Gibeon no ni na shi a yan to madan no anim ba Jerusalem na odi Israel so hene amen amen na o nyankopon a promise David so be man e ba no nyansa na odi e di hene e wo Israel man so God gave a promise to David his son Solomon that he will give him Wisdom to rule over the land of Israel. Bibi ya nyama dese. O kenga chuo semse si anwasi. Boshe nyama shi ndi swadi ni besi ahini yusuno. O wunu nyansa eno koko boshe wa fadi da aswasi. Look at what happened. The promise that God gave to King Solomon. He was very wise enough to go and give an offering upon that promise. Aha. Na wabo afuri enuwe eno. Bibi yangu mi se edanuwa na se. 
Yanko Pondi at dinner. Oko bomb one for real way a day, or de mano. The soon soon no de amana a day. Da 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 da, or so soon da 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 da. And what we can see is that when he went to give the good offering unto God, that same very day that the Lord came to him and then gave him the blessings. It means that in the spiritual realm, God has already given him all the promises. What is the all kind of someone was see? Solomon, I for dear baby, baby, I will be dear pan, I will paint here. We are we. Yammy pan, son of baby, son, no. As surprising, yammy, ah, some in yes, she, my will be one more per se. Why you be a man, yammy, and son of Kodaswasi? Yan is out. You will never be war. What she said, you could buy a bibia mano, and son, what could boss for real than yammy, and say. There are some people, they only wait until the Lord gives them something good before they go and give thanksgiving unto God. God knows that that is how some people are. It will appear Solomon So when he appeared in the dream of Solomon, he asked him a question. Ah, Solomon. Ah, Solomon. What have I even done for you? Ah, that you are going to do this. That it means that you want something from me. What are you searching for? Solomon said, And Solomon told God that I want wisdom to do the work that you have given to me to do. The kingdom's work that you've given to me to do. I came to seek your face by giving a good offering concerning that one. By then, God had not yet given to him. And then Yanko Paul said, Oh, sir. And, and God said, Oh, is that it? Made the amount. I've already given it to you. You will be busy. Made the amount. We have something that I will give it to you. When I heard you reading the word of God, you didn't say that I will give Was it, it to what you. The amount. He said, I have given it unto you. That which you even didn't ask, Made the account. I have even added it to you. There are no kings who have ever passed who will be equal to you in the blessings I have given to you. Who will be great as you are. And behind you there will never be a king like you. What did King Solomon do? The day that you had your marriage did you go to give a good thanksgiving unto God for it? How much did you even put in an envelope to give to God? Ah, they call spiritual father. Huh? And you sent to your spiritual father. And our spiritual mother. Or your spiritual mother. And a baby open for him and Or where you give offering to God. And they call that our warrior To go and give thanks unto God concerning your marriage. Who they call that when you go and thank God concerning your marriage, it means that you have gone to give or dedicate the what? marriage into the hands of God. What page you, may be a man, man. you have given God a job to do. Someone that should he should take good care of it for you. Now you father, sir. Oh, but we don't take God just like that. And father, sir. So you don't have to take him just like that. And so God has the right if any battles come in your marriage, oh, sorry, but come on. he has to arise and fight for you. Amen. Amen. We don't take God just like that. And notice Psalm 50. Psalm 50. 14 to 15. 14 to 15. Says that First of all, give thanks unto God. So we will wait there. When you finish with that, then I give you the permission to call God in no the days of trouble. He will come and answer you. Amen. 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 Solomon. Learn from King Solomon. Now I worry to me, madam. So that power will come into your marriage. That glory will come in your marriage. That God will be able to give you the wisdom. And understanding. That you'll be able to use to manage your marriage. Many people don't have wisdom in their marriages. When they enter into their marriage, they lack wisdom and understanding. The marriages are just breaking off just like that. Amen. Amen. This way that you have to pass through. Give good offerings unto God. 
Let's look at another thing in the word. Another thing in, in offering is what I'm coming to teach you now. Maybe we are in a new, new year. And you have laid in your heart a good thing to do. And you need new things from the Lord. That the Lord should come and do it for you. So that is what is in your heart. It's you who need something from God. That one, we just don't drop our things on prayer and take God just like that. You just don't run to your man of God or pastor and tell him all this. This one I tell you that have a very heavy mind. And do something. Kneel down. And thank God. And tell God that. Oh my Lord and my God. I have taken something. I need something from you. Because it's been written. Give and it shall be given. Unto you. you say I should give. Now one and you will give me this particular year. This is my vision. Now for a boy, may have made it that's what So this offering that I have taken, As and I'm thanking you, na, ne, all that it means is this: be that mama. you will give me my heart desire. If it's a sudden watch it because that is what you've written. Usu, be mama, you say be you will let the heart desire of the righteous come to pass. Usi, mi, mi, san, now, be mama. You say I should ask and you will give to me. me. Shen, na, me you say I should seek and I will find. Solomon, be, she, she, oh. you, Solomon came to seek you. He found you. Because he didn't come seeking for you empty handed. This is the reason why I've not come empty handed. This is me, my thanksgiving offering. I know you do it for me. Thank you so much, Lord. Amen. Amen. And also, this one also, when you do this, the Lord owes you. But if God doesn't bring it, it means that maybe when he brings it, it will not be of good benefit to you. If the thing is a very good thing that will help you, you will surely receive it. Oh, the word of God says that you, you ask but you don't have it. You seek but you don't find it. Because you don't go and seek with a good heart. What do you go to seek God with? We don't take God just like I just that. Say, be, be the um, unless you give something to God before. Let's go and see if it's really the word of God. Let's go to the book of Job. Job chapter 41 verse 11. Job 41 verse 11. Job woman. Etire aduanan baako. Nyimu du baako. O se say. Hwana edi nkan ama me biribi. Na me nhye no ananmu. Edru biribi mu a. There are certain times that the Lord himself arises and enters into the earth to come and judge his children on this earth. He says, Who has given me something first that I also today can replace him? We give something to God and he also replaces it back to us. If you say you are just sitting down and you go with God in a wise way oh God, if you come and do this for me first me too, I will do this for you. Oh, then you will sit down and be sitting down for years. You and God who has something. If you say I'm lying, let's continue the word of. Everybody, you can pause say. Dear, I want to show you now. See, uh huh. Me na I want me. Everybody, you can pause say. Hey, why you put name me baby na me 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 send a name. The Lord is saying that hey, who has given me something that I can also replace it for Him. Every say everybody say. Dear, I want to show you. I see you now. I see you. I see you. So, I want to show you. I see you now. I see you. So. So the Lord is saying that everything in heaven and on earth belongs to me. It, and so it's not you who is going to tell God that 
God, if you are able to do this for me, then I will never disgrace you. I will also do this for you. You are the one disgracing your own self. The one that even you will take and give to God and doesn't to, belong to you. And to trust them and say, so the word of God says, Why no baby? who has something I know that the Lord has not given it to him. Everything that you have, it is God who has given it to you. Shenensa to be to be to be onu de riasi shenensa onu de riasi shenensa onu de riasi shenensa amen amen yedi kama nyangu po bibi we have to give god something first e kwanya ya faso the way sa nyangu po ho bibi eno no this is the way by which we can ask for something from God. So if you need that God comes to your marriage and do something for you, then he should come and help you in your marriage. Start Begin to give offering concerning your marriage. Before you pray unto the Lord your God. If I were you, Every month I will give an offering concerning my marriage. Every month I will commit my marriage into the hands of God. And until we can Job chapter eight. So you study the word of God in Job chapter eight, verse five. Verse five. What is saying? Come in the and come as you share with the other coin. He says that if I were you, I would have seek the face of God. And I will lay all my ways before the hands of God. Amen. Amen. Me ba we di, we ya kura bone kura dodo. Di ya kura na fisi me wu no nyenyu ma pebi ada. Ah, ni ni me ni kura mfine so. So wa nyenyu ya mi ni ibe ye ya mame. You say that oh, as for this my child, he's a very stubborn child. Let me just take my eyes off that child. If he doesn't even get on well in life, the other two might even prosper and I will take them like that. You need to give thanksgiving on that child's life. Now, catch it, Radi, say. And tell God that. Lord, my God. This is my child. I will thank you concerning this one. Con I will give thanksgiving offering concerning this my child until the good things that you laid in the child come out. Lord, I thank you that this child every day is always doing bad things. But the word of God says in all things we should give thanks to God. But this is what, that this is what concerns me. The word of God says that many are the afflictions of the righteous. But the Lord delivers him from all of them. Lord, I have thanked you concerning my child. You have, you have delivered him from all the bad things. This child is not coming to be a good child. He will live a very good life. Lord, I give you the ways of my child. It is you who orders the ways of a righteous man. This is a thanksgiving offering. Whatever is not even good. Please learn how to give thanks to God concerning that thing. Don't just pray just like that and taking God for granted. If you are lost in your marriage and you are worried during certain times when you are lost in your marriage and you are just frustrated before you go and remember that God you know what you have laid in place you know the many offerings that you have used to offer unto God concerning your marriage so when it comes to difficult days, it's a very short thing. God owes you something. So you're just going to tell God to pay you. And this is what King Hezekiah did. He said, Lord my God, 
Remember me, your daughter Equia. A free time a worry. Ever since I married. My worry is on sa. I have always been given this marriage in your hands. Can you for about who do I'm about to? Remember the many offerings that I have offered concerning this my marriage. Can you for about who no cry? Me dear man, I'm worried. Remember how be, how faithful I have been concerning offerings. I ready to hear from you. Lord, this is how the marriage is going. Oh, a strange woman is entering into my marriage in a 419 way. A thief, a woman who is a thief, wants to steal my husband. Lord, you know that if the, the thief doesn't just come. He's just coming to steal my husband and go and destroy him. So, Lord, come and help me. The Lord says... I rather say the Lord will say above all his angels. Why neck come go masuma also who is shouting and crying unto me? Above one say you be queer no. Then the angels will say that it is your daughter a queer. Was the monk come on quantum? Then the Lord will say, Hurry and go to her. Go and see what is happening to her. Then go and fight for her. What will be? You are just sitting somewhere. And the Lord will fight for you. But as for you, you are fighting your own battle with your mouth. You have a very bitter mouth. Anger. And then your mouth do baby. Many things that is not good. Your own fleshly things that you use to fight your own marriage. God uses offering to fight for us every day. He says that if you are in a lost and then you, you are going through painful things in your marriage, the Lord will remember you. That one day you, you did some good offerings to him. He says that offering is a thanksgiving offering. He says that that day that you gave him that offering. The Lord saw that you glorified him. So in your ways, no matter how lost they have become. He will come and show you the way. That you will walk on that way. And that you'll be able to come out of all your pains. Psalm 50, verse 23. Psalm 50, verse 23. Come, Mammy. Let's. Uh huh. What's it say? And you know, it's red, you know, you know, and you know, me and son. Uh huh. The other day, I said, I bought for the other shaman, you know, uh huh. Nadia, now, quant, you know, uh huh. Match red, you know, coupon, quant, you know, ah, 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 ah. What shaman, you know, I said, I'm for real, make a one, some so what me bobbi e de bo wa wa wie we seek a some name we request free nyame wa e radi say ofa ne say why e dey enti nyame hu say solomon e dey wa shine ni monyam you have glorified me all these offerings that i'm talking of today if you are able to do all these things the lord takes it that you have glorified him what did the lord do concerning king solomon he said solomon has glorified him what is say what is say we yes sir he says that no matter how you have lost your ways, if you are able to give all these offerings, the Lord himself will come and show you the right way by which you should pass on. We get lost every day, but we do not find the way. And then the Christ of this is what many Christians know. We are Oh Lord, hold me. Baby, I am you. Something is happening to me. I'm getting lost. Oh, is it my husband who is doing this? Oh, it's not yet daytime. My husband has got me lost. Somewhere. Because you are a very wicked person. That's why your husband has lost you. You don't like giving offering. My husband has now betrayed me. Madam Fupan Wakofano. He's gone in for my own has my own friend. Bibi Ayame. Oh, something is happening. To me. I'm getting lost. Or did Adam for now so? You'll be lying on the friend. Oh, my friend number help me. Oh, something is happening to me. Oh. 
then the friend who is also a fleshly person then you begin papa. to advise her that hey, your husband is a very wicked person now, you, know, you didn't even know hey, my own landlord's daughter and that my husband has gone to sleep with her oh this wicked thing that my husband has done against me I will never forget and then the friend who is also a fleshly oh, person oh it's a long time I saw your husband I'm going to say it will say that me I want to destroy your marriage. Oh, this might see a man that we should marry. Your husband. So we need maybe If you know the things that you've been using to do and hiding. Oh, you would have used your head to hit the wall. Broken hearts and you high see level. That the broken heartedness has been lifted to highest level. <laughs> He's sending you to another place. You need God. You have missed the road. It's not only prayers that we used to take something from God. Whilst you are praying, then you also lay in place the many offerings that you have to give to God. This offering that I'm talking about is not that go and take the big money that you don't have. That the one that you have that you have to give to God. This is what God said. Next time, next time we will learn the way by which we give a vow and the way we have to pay our vows we will teach you that which you have is what you give to God don't give a vow which you cannot pay that you will have the wrath of God if you are not careful you get a curse be careful the way you give an offering Giving offering or offering is a very good blessing that we used to get more grace from God. We mix it up with our prayers to go and stir God up. To come and do something good for us. That he comes to give us our promises that we need. This is the reason why when we started this month, March, I've been teaching you more about offerings. Another time we'll continue. Today, that we end the way
Watch it.